and achievements don't just happen by themselves. This achievement, I think, was the result of a really remarkable partnership between a club led by its owners, Bill Flavio, who had a tireless devotion to achieving their vision of building this stadium and bringing Major League Soccer to Orlando, with public officials, Mayor Dyer, Mayor Jacobs, and their colleagues, who forged a very innovative public and private uh, partnership in order to fund this stadium. And most importantly, we've talked a lot about it already tonight, the fans. The fans in this community have shown the world that this city deserves a Major League Soccer team. And the world is taking notice. As great as today is, there are better days to come, and our best days are in front of us. I cannot wait until opening day next spring when the Lions take the field for their first game in Major League Soccer, and I can't wait for the season after when this beautiful stadium opens. We're going to be back here next year. Commissioner Garber and I are with great anticipation to join you next spring, and we can't wait, and thank you so much for all you've done. possible uh, without one man uh, and that man is uh, I'm very very proud to call him my friend my partner uh, none other than the leader of, of our group of our team of our club uh, that is Flavio Augusto da Silva I love you too. <laughs> you said it for me in Portuguese. Okay? <laughs> well, it's never enough to say thank you. Never enough to say thank you. So I know that you have thank you everybody here, but I would like to thank you every single person here today, every of every fan. Uh, we have Leia, Tori Dyer, Teresa Jacobs, so all of your teams, everybody that helped us to get in this point in this historic day that we have here in this, in this moment. So in this land here, in a few months ahead, we're gonna try here, we're gonna support here the team. We're gonna leave great emotions in this land here. And uh, it's a, it's a, I can't wait to, to come to this place for our first game in our stadium. So thank you guys from our here. very good club for our community to help the community but also a global club a global brand in the world we are working hard in Europe in Brazil in South America in order to promote this club we are bring, in order to bring more more tourists to this city so we are very happy for this we would like to thank you a lot for that but I will get the opportunity today to say um, uh, again one thing that I already said the last time and I will get the opportunity that Mark Agot, the president of MLS is here I will send to him a message from the club so in front of all of you today so we didn't come to this league president to participate we came to win <laughs> Just one very, very brief speech left, and we'll, and we'll break ground and make this, uh, make this ceremony complete. Um, thank you, Ben I, thank you, Ben Jacobs, thank you, Mark, thank you, Flavio. Um, today we're making sports history. Today we are going to break ground on the fourth of the community venues. It may be the last venue, but in my opinion, it'll be the most exciting venue. It'll be the best venue. I predict that this area in Paramore will be the epicenter of excitement for this city. This is where, as Fabio said, we'll laugh, we'll cry, but we'll win. More than anything, we will win. On this line. 
in just 18 months' time, we'll be returning here for our first game in the 2016 season. Our first game in our home. That home will have close to 20,000 seats. It will have 38 suites. It will have premium seats, 1,600 premium seats. It will have the first and only safe standing room supporters end in the country. That's because our fans only deserve the best. We have the best fans in the country. We're the soccer capital of the South. We prove that every day. You prove that every day. Let's break ground. Let's fill the stadium.